Hey guys, and welcome to the start of my new Let's Play of The Sims 4. Now, before I actually start, continue, start this actual Let's Play, I'm going to give you guys a bit of an interaction. First of all, my name is Chris, I've been Let's Playing for about a few months and then I stopped on a hiatus, but now I'm back and I'm ready to get started with this game and I'm really super excited. I haven't played very much of it. I know some information, but I don't know very much and yeah, so if you guys want to add some tips in the comments or something I should do, something you want to see that you haven't seen before, feel free to ask me and yeah, so I think that's about all I had to say. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Also, as this starts loading, I'm going to, oh, as I play, I'm going babe, to like tell you my opinion, like a sort of little review slash let's play of The Sims 4, how it's upgraded on The Sims 3 and how it's downgraded, because this it, it is missing some crucial parts that made The Sims 3 at such a good step up from The Sims 2. Some people are referring to this as like The Sims 1, The Sims 2, like HD. Um, I guess I would have to agree with them, but I don't know. You guys can be the judge. So anyway, I was thinking of doing like a little revival of my Let's Play of The Sims 2, which means I'll do the same family since that ended, since the Let's Play ended so abruptly. I'm just gonna start off with the same family, probably with a different set of cast since I'll be since they'll be meeting different people. But yeah, overall the same character to start with. First off, I had made my mom, with this isn't her real name, but yeah. I had named her Catherine, I had misspelled Catherine, hopefully I spelled it right, Catherine, that looks about right. And for most, which is my surname. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna make her a female. Now, create a, create a sim, not create a style. Create a sim has been expanded on a lot, I mean, it, it, it is really Mom good. Here, here you can change her voice. Omiva Shyla. Brashu Manuba. Holy nine Mokosa. This is probably the best one. You can go prep kid really off. deep or really high. Oh, the samba. Medium was fine. And this is a new feature this is for, so you can choose their walking style. Bouncy. Some of them are like weird. Like you wouldn't walk like this if you're in real life. I mean, okay. I mean if you were high or jacked up on coffee, you probably walk like them, but I mean, let's go with the default side. Um a feature that has been from that has been implemented from the Sims 3, but has been you can say downgraded because before there were five traits, now there are three. But Sims, but since in The Sims 4, the Sims are more emotional, which we'll get to what that means in actual gameplay. I this kind of makes up for it, but I don't know. So in The Sims 2, I think she was knowledgeable, and so when you pick your aspiration, first off, let's pick the traits. First, let's make her be a genius. These sims can be focused, to share ideas with other sims, and maybe upset if they haven't improved some skills. And okay, she's a genius. Let's select a. <clears throat> let's see. She's also fa let's make her family oriented. She wants a fa she wants a big family. But um, and let's make her. Let's see. Let's make uh, yes. Let's make her perfectionist. Which means that p they take long and they will get a moodlet for high quality item and a negative moodlet for a low quality item. And we'll make her knowledgeable and she'll be... <clears throat> Let's make her a nerd brain. I'll wait now. Let's make her renaissance sim. Wants to be good at many things at once. Let's go with that. And yeah. a difference from The Sims 3 is when you choose an aspiration they get like a perk. which And with the knowledge, knowledge one, yeah knowledge. You'll get the quick learner, which means they learn skills faster, which is a really good, like, little perk thing. So yeah, now let's move on to actually create a style. For, you can randomize as per what usual. Yeah, you can right. use her. Um, there are the different slides, like you make her muscly or not muscly at all. Let's make her down there, fat, thin. Put her some respect tab in the middle right there. Now, what's really good in create a sim is that you can just basically see grab something and just push and pull wait that's, that's fine and <laughs> my bad and you can you, literally anything you want her eye her eye like her pupil make her make it tiny look really insanely creepy or make it huge and look like an anime character or just normal sized or how can it like normal sims th does that really exist I mean it's a sim it's your doll you can make it any way you like 
I think this sim looks actually really nice for the first time we've started. So I'm not gonna tweak her too much. I think she looks actually really good. Anyway, here um, you can change the skin tone from really pale to green or blue. This was in The Sims 2, 3, so that's fine. You can you can do a presets face and then change. Here are the skin details. You know, normal Sims 3, Sims 2 stuff. Now the hair. There are there are an okay selection. They'll probably add more. Um, hair here in The Sims 2 is like really long. This will probably get the closest to. You can also change the color. Whoa, that's actually really cool. Wait, where is it? This was looks really cool. But she was brown hair. It's like dark brown hair there. Also, the, um... A serious like what the hell where I wanted a color palette you can't even do the tips or like highlights or anything for the hair what happened that that is like something that should have been implemented at least a color wheel I mean there are the colors but like a lighter a darker shade of brown or something I don't know this is eh, but uh, or I guess their their explanation for it was that the game runs smoother, which I guess is okay, but come on, a color wheel, especially for the clothes, which I'll get to that later. And you can add a necklace, I don't think this was in Sims 3, no, this was, definitely was. Earrings, but since her hair is so long, they won't show. And glasses. These, um, I don't know what they do, I think they do something special? I think they make you playful, which is an emotion, which we'll get to in, a, in the gameplay. For now, let's focus on here. Makeup, let's, no, she had a good makeup, that, she looks fine, let's give her some... Where's the blush? There. Like a nice little blush. And lips. Let's give her these lips. Like nothing too fancy. And yeah. In formal, I'd like to have her some uh, some makeup as well. Hopefully that that looks okay, I guess. I don't know. I am not uh I'm I have no idea what makeup is supposed to be like, so. Uh that that And that looks good. Another thing they added is the party. Now I don't know what 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 does that mean? Oh yeah, and not, you can add different like outfits they can wear. I don't know what the difference between party and formal. I think a formal is just for like a formal party, like weddings and stuff, and party is for a regular party, I guess. I don't know, but they're different outfits, which is a new thing. Now that we're done with her face, I think we've done everything. Yeah, you can let's go straight to here, and also not just a face. You can adjust anything on her body, like literally her feet size. That's what like a big feet. Wait, let's go back down. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Yeah. Um, her feet size, you can make them really long. Her waist. Her abdomen. Her boobs, you can make them huge. Let's make them normal size. And yeah, they really went all out. It's really good. I like it. But I, that here's the thing I miss the most. Create style. I mean, as I said before, they said, the EA said that it's because of performance issues. But I mean, as a, like a color wheel or something that we can choose the color we want. I mean, there isn't every color here. I mean, uh, I don't know. I wanted like something better. I mean, don't get me wrong. The the clothes do look fine, but I don't know. I'm just gonna. I know what she's gonna wear because I've recorded this before, but it came out eh. So I'm just decided to record again. And by eh, I mean not good. I guess I don't know. So yeah, that you can you can you can like go to different groups and see from there, but that's fine. Uh, you can have a full outfit, but I don't want that. And pants, you can, normal pants, underwear, you can run around in your underwear, really? Okay then, Sims, uh, what pants had I picked for her? Crap, it was some jeans or something. Hmm. Not these ones, no. Oh god, uh, pants, 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 pants. I don't think they were, they were these pants. Are they these pants? Yeah, they were these pants. I made them black. Yeah, that's fine. And shoes. Let's go move on to shoes. The, like I said, this is basically the, the Sims 3 just without the, the creative style, which is something pe which is putting people off. Which I guess they're right, but I don't know. I, 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 you can basically judge for to get this game, seeing through the gameplay. But I'm, I, I'm not regrets. I didn't regret buying this game. I did get the digital thingy, which means I have extra stuff. But yeah, I li kind of like it. Anyway, let's move on to her different outfits, full body, let's see. Uh, um, there are some nice formal wears. Uh, what? This outfit was good. Uh, let's make her shoes like blue or something. Or black, yeah. Um, that's fine. 
Oh god, what? Let's see. Oh my god, what are those socks? Remove that. Uh, that's also good. And party dress, I had picked out. What had I picked out? Um. Yeah, I think that's good. I like it. Let's kind of change the color. Yeah. What's with you with wearing socks? I mean, seriously. And let's make these like red. Yeah, and that's our sim, you guys. That is our first sim. I think she looks pretty cool. And yeah, those, those are her traits, and that's her. Now, I ha in my Sims 2 Let's Play, I had done myself, and you can now play with genetics, and which would look make her look like the sim that's being used. You can add a father, but one is fine. A male. She's gonna be. A, he's gonna be a child, and that looks pretty good, actually. Wow, she looks really. The range of that that face. I mean, what the hell is that face? I don't know. She looks fine there, but in the portrait, she looks weird. Anyway, now the, now the kids. Yeah, only they only have one trait, and when they grow up, I'm assuming you can add more traits. I'm not sure. I haven't played around with that too much. So we'll see in the in the gameplay. So let's make me a geek, and you can. The cool thing about children, which is a really good addition, is that they added a little mini aspiration for them and when they they fulfill it they get like a perk which will go through as being like another perk to the you see how let me explain this better you see how she has a perk quick learner he will get this perk like I will get this perk when I grow up but I will also get another perk if I complete this aspiration hopefully it makes sense it sort of does you can also go into really good detail with, this, with children I'd like to make my face not that big and like make yeah that looks fine the hair is I'm not a big fan of of the children, but I never really was. Oh god, no. That looks cool. So we're gonna go with that. I hate hats. Nice little shark bone there. Nope. So yeah, let's, go. let's re remove these overalls. What the hell are these? Um. Yeah. Oh god, I need pants. Me dude, you need to wear some pants. Oh yeah, let's have an owl one. Um, let's see. No, not fan. Eh. That actually looks quite okay. That also looks fine. Looks like a Puma advert. Let's go with the owl one. You know, make us look hip and hipster. Like a hipster. Um, I don't like the, the selection of pants they have. I mean, eh, that looks okay, I guess. And those shoes are fine. So yeah, uh, let's move on to formal wear. I'm just, I'm trying to like rush through these. You probably know what's going on. And for those of you who haven't, here's a little, like, Look at it, I guess. Look at look at this Sims. If you're on the fence with it, to become a Sims, and I think you should. It's a really fun game. I mean, I've never had complaints. Besides, you know, it's always been fun. And who works out with glasses? I mean, seriously, like remove those. Thank you. And yeah, <clears throat> let's go to sleepwear. What are those? Nope, no pajamas. I guess. Let's make a white T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like a, a pajama actually. Let's go with the with boxers. Yeah. Screw it. Screw it all. And party. What? Oh, okay. Yes. This is what I'll be wearing to a party. Look at those flip flops. Holy crap. What is what is going on? Let's remove everything. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Yes, that's how I party. In my underwear. It's probably a step up from that little thing. From the. Uh, what, what, what's called? The outfits. I mean the hot dog suit. God, words are really hard today. I can't talk at all. Um, it's my pants. No, no, I really hate this. What's going on? I look like Harry Potter with those glasses. Uh, yeah, let's go to. It's a nice little thing. Where's the the the? Yeah, that. This look. This is a really cool shirt. I like it. And some sneakers. Let's remove the glasses though. I do not need glasses. So far, I don't need glasses. Hopefully, I won't need in the future. And so yeah, that is the sim I created. So yes, that is the first part, I guess, you guys. So I'm um, I'm gonna end it off here in through the Chris One Trio fashion. I have no idea what time we're at, but yeah, I'm gonna end it off here. If you like this part, comment, like, and subscribe to me or more to see more of my videos to come. Awesome.